Oh man, that's that freaks. As as gross and disgusting as all of this seems, this is actually one of the more, I think, amazing times of when you're just off in the woods search oh I see some legs over there searching for edible wild plants. You come upon a scene like this. I don't think this was hunters because it's spread out all over the place which to me would indicate more, I mean, it's either going to be a pack of wolves, grizzly bear, uh, potentially a cougar, um, but this thing is ripped apart and spread around all over the place. So it's likely to have been definitely some kind of predator attack and we get to be here, see it and smell it. But seeing and smelling something like this is still a powerful thing to experience when you get out in the wilds like this. And the only reason we're spotting this is because we're looking for wood sorrel. We're looking for dandelions. You know, we're looking for whatever kind of wild edibles we can, we can gather. And then we come across this. This is fascinating to me. So what do you think this, this was? Well, this is a moose. Uh, that, there's no question about it. I can tell by the fur. I can tell by the, the jawbone. I mean, that is, that's, that's not a bear. That's not a deer. And it certainly is not a mouse. That's well, moose. They have an abscess or something going on there. something going on.